A slow go this morning as that snowstorm battered the metro area all up and along the mountains as well. And we remain under a winter storm warning until midnight. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Britt Marino. It's great to see you on this snowy day. We had bands of snow moving through the state all day, and that means the snow totals really vary from inches to feet. But in the mountains, travel is downright treacherous. Huge stretches of I-70 are closed to the west, and this is why. All right, I'm going to try to give you an idea what it looks like up here at the Eisenhower Tunnel. Whiteout conditions with this wind right now. You can barely see that car that is only about 15 feet away from me. That video from earlier this morning, and we do have a team of crews checking on conditions. We have Ashton Altieri in the weather lab, and we do have our meteorologist Chris Spears out at the elements in the Eisenhower Tunnel area. Wow, Chris, we can barely see you. And I'm only about 15 to 25 feet from the camera, Britt. Uh, we're getting pockets of wind. We have made it to the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnels. Eastbound I 70 opened in the eastbound direction from Silverthorne right about 1120. Eddie is going to show you the highway right now. And though the road is open, it is in horrible shape. And the higher you get from Silverthorne, the worse the conditions get, the slower the speeds get. And you run into people that quite frankly probably don't have the skill set to be driving on these types of roads. We ran into a couple of really great characters at a gas station in Silverthorne and here's how they described their trip up. There was like a wind gust right before the Eisenhower tunnel and I just like couldn't see anything and I just stopped. There was a car right in front of me. It was scary. It was awful. Couldn't see anything. The gusts of wind kept blowing and you couldn't see the car in front of you. It was bad. We're going all the way to Aspen today, so uh, we'll see what happens. Could be a long day. Could be a long day. We'll get to know each other much better in the car. It's good that he's keeping a good attitude. Back out here live, there's one semi going through the tunnel. Uh, Ashton, my concern is we are not anywhere close to being through with this storm. As you know, a pipeline of moisture coming all the way from the Hawaiian Islands, and there is a lot more to come as we get deeper into the day today. Chris, absolutely. We like to call this the atmospheric river. Moisture coming straight from the Pacific, completely untapped, and that's why we're measuring snow in feet up in the high country. Of course, down here in the outdoor weather lab, there's quite a bit of snow surrounding me as well, but nothing like what Chris has surrounding him up at the Eisenhower and Johnson tunnels. Take We want to show you one of the hardest hit areas this afternoon. Chris Spears is live at the Loveland exit pass and Chris conditions there were pretty bad. You know, we made it through the tunnel, Britt, and uh, it's and he's going to turn around and kind of show you what we're dealing with here. Uh, the roads are terribly icy and snow packed uh, right this second. The visibility has come up, but we keep getting these gusts of wind that ebb and flow completely blocking things. The traffic you see completely at a standstill. Those are the westbound lanes heading to the Eisenhower and Johnson tunnels. And Eddie, let's show them two things real quick. How deep this snow is and this will just kind of give you an idea of how much has fallen when winter storm warnings come out for feet of snow well this is up to my waist and i stand six feet tall so this is a good three feet of snow the other quick thing we want to show you real fast eddie is going to show you the semis here Britt, as we toss it back to you they're buried in the chain up area stuck because of the drifted snow and they have to do what they have to do. You know, they're told to go out there, Chris. Thank you so much for showing us what it looks like there. Safe travels as you guys head back down the hill.